qualifying it, It's really an honor to put on the USA jersey. Um, growing up, it's just been amazing to have that opportunity and um, to be able to represent your country and kind of play on the world stage is kind of indescribable. It's great. I mean, we sometimes give each other a hard time, but uh, we've been friends for years, and uh, that goes deeper. I think it's helped a lot. A lot of us have been together since uh, the national team started with U14, U15. So um, we've kind of grown up with each other and um, kind of developed through the national systems with each other. So it's great to have the opportunity now to compete for a World Cup together. Yeah, um, we, we let up a goal early in the first five minutes of the game and kind of struggled to come back. but. We kept in good spirits the whole game. We created a ton of opportunities, but it wasn't until the last 10 minutes of the game um, that we ended up scoring our two goals. But it was great. Um, a lot of us were crying, and it was really emotional. But I think it really brought us together as a team, and it showed us and the rest of the world that like we can come back from adversity and that we don't give up. Me, personally, I was relaxed. I knew we could do it. Um, I had complete confidence in our team and our ability. Um, I think we just needed to take a deep breath and play back to our style. We don't really get to see that much of the countries, but um, in Spain they took us out once and we got to kind of go around by the water, and then in Panama they took us to the Panama Canal, so it's cool to see like part of history, and then also get to be in a foreign country. Um, got to practice my Spanish a little bit. My Spanish professor would probably be happy with that. Um, uh, it's cool to be in a foreign country. It's a different place, it's different cultures, and you get to experience different things. Yeah, I kind of built my semester this year um, around my soccer, and I found professors that are so nice and so accommodating that are going to let me miss, so they've been unbelievable, and Duke has been really supportive. Right. Yeah, I had to do work on a trip, and they're nice, and I'm taking a test tomorrow, turned in a paper today, so they're letting me catch up while I'm here. So. It's sad that it does overlap with the season, but our team is so strong, and I have complete faith in our ability to push through and I'll come back and I'll be here for ACC play and tournament play. So I know we'll be fine. And then I think I'm only missing the first two weeks of school, which is that only at drop period. So I don't think it'll be as much of a struggle. We're kind of taking it a break right now that we're in um, college again. So we're only having two camps until school ends. And then after school ends, we're gonna go to Japan as a preparation and then go into residency for like three weeks in July and then leave for the World Cup around August 7th. I really liked on the national team how possession oriented we were and our goal is to be the fastest team in the world in our possession style. And so I think we can kind of bring that into Duke and we do try to play a possession oriented style here. I just think we can work on that and work on our speed of play. Um, playing defense on the national team and forward here gives me a different perspective and I think I've picked up some things that Maybe I didn't like when a forward did it, so maybe I should implement that. Um, and same thing on the reverse, like some tactical stuff on the defensive side.